I hate this lighting. Hi, so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my school bag video. The reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to show anyone who's wondering what to bring to university slash college. Because I feel like I know what I'm talking about. I've been going to university since I was 18. I'm now 22. I've gone to different universities, studied different courses. So I feel like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyways, if you want to know what's in my bag, keep watching. Okay, so first things first, this is my bag. It's huge. It's a really big tote bag. I got this from Target around December. It was just before Christmas. I was doing a bit of Christmas shopping with my friends. It's kind of a grayish, khaki green color. It has a bit of a, um, a marbled print to it, which I really, really love. It feels kind of like a uh, suede. It was around, I'm pretty sure it was around like $50 to $60. I can't remember exactly, but it was around that. And I'm pretty sure they still have them if you wanted to get it. It's still in stock, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. On the inside, it has like a little kind of zippy kind of pouch and it actually comes off. I'll show you what's in that first. So first thing I can see is a snack. <laughs> it's always great to bring like a little snack with you in your bag. Sometimes when you're at university you don't even get time to get a lunch break. So it's good to bring like a muesli bar or some sort of little snack to keep in your bag. So next thing I have are just some tissues. Next thing is some gum. I like spearmint gum. I don't like mint. I like spearmint. I'm really weird. I hate having bad breath. I'm always like self-conscious if I've got bad breath. Every time I finish eating something, I always like to make sure that I've got some gum in my bag. Next thing I have is some hand cream. Next thing is my Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Mist. This is my favorite scent at Victoria's Secret. It smells so good. Every time I'm spraying it or anytime someone wants to try it, they fall in love. I recommend it. I got this little one because it's handy to leave in my bag and it's also plastic. I do use this a lot at uni. Just sometimes I'm at uni for so long. I want like a little bit of a freshener. I want to smell nice. <laughs> These do come in handy. You don't have to get a Victoria's Secret one. Any kind of one you have. I also just picked up this one. Again, it's plastic um, from Victoria's Secret. But um, this is sometimes I bring this one if I don't have too much in my bag. This is the Body by Victoria and... It's a really nice one as well. If you want a cheap alternative to a Victoria's Secret one, I found this at Chemist Warehouse. It's really, really cute. has like a little tassel on it. This is the Boutique Made in England Vanilla Blush and Panoni. It smells really, really nice. And it's a really, really cute packaging. I was surprised because it was really, really cheap. This was like around $4. So next thing I'm going to show you is the most important thing you could ever bring to university or college. That's earphones. I can't even tell you the pain that I can be in if I forget to bring my earphones. So make sure you have your earphones with you at all times. It's a must. Like sometimes you're in a study break or to and from university or college. You want to have something to listen to? Bring these. Last thing in here is just my EOS lip balm. This is, I think, passion fruit. I really like EOS lip balms. I have a lot of them floating around my room. I have to bring one. My lips sometimes get chapped. Sometimes you just need something to put on. So I have this in here. A lot of people at university write in a notebook and there's such cute notebooks books out there right now. If you prefer to write a notebook, can't really afford to get yourself a laptop or a tablet right now, that's fine. Bring a cute notepad and some cute pens. You can just do that. But then I will just bring my laptop. This is the MacBook Pro. It's really, really heavy, so it's not ideal to bring to uni. I do drive in. It's not like I have to carry it with me. If you're taking public transport, I wouldn't recommend bringing a heavy laptop. Now, my tip with textbooks is don't buy them. <laughs> I don't know how bad that is to say. Textbooks are such a ripoff. Textbooks cost from $70 to I've seen textbooks for $200. I'm not even kidding you. To be honest, in my experience, you only use it for a semester or even less. You might just use it for one assignment and then you've just wasted that money. Alternative, download it online. It's a lot cheaper. Or you can even try and see and Google if there's a free copy of it. Or you can borrow it from your university's library. Libraries will usually stock a few of the actual textbooks that are needed for classes. Another alternative is borrow off your friend who's bought it or has it and you can photocopy it or take photos of it. That's just a little tip from me to you guys. In my experience, I have wasted a lot of money on textbooks that I've only ended up needing for one assignment. If the textbook's really affordable and you know that you're going to be using or you know you're going to be using this textbook a lot, then by all means, definitely get it. But that's just my little tip. So next in my bag is my food journal. I have such random stuff in my bag when I'm in a lecture or in my breaks. I have something to do and this has been so awesome. I have these pages where you can write what you've eaten in that day and you have little notes and you can write down your calories and everything like that. I have like recipes 
for a whole meal muffins. You can put photos of the people that love you, diet friendly brownie bits. Like it's so cool. Be so happy that when others look at you, they feel happy too. I just really liked that. I think it's inspiring. It's a really, really cool food journal. Bonnie Marcus collection, food journal, an on the go food tracker. Next, I have my diary. So my diary is from Forever New and I actually ended up getting this on sale at the Boxing Day sale. I went to Officeworks. I bought like this really cute washi tape and I got these lined wristed notes. And I like the lined ones because you only get so much space to write in the dates in this diary. So I like to add these and I have a few here that I can just take off when I need them when to write some extra notes down. And then in here I have my student ID, like a coffee stamp card. That's just what the inside looks like. You can fill in your address book and there's a to-do list. So next I have a receipt for a soy latte. I have my sunnies from Key Australia. These are the, it's not actually in here, but this is the case for it. Um, and they are the Black Vivian uh, Dark Aviators. And then I have my reading glasses. They look like nothing special. In fact, I've had these glasses since I was like 16 and it is so time to get a new one, but I haven't gotten around to it. But yeah, I've been using the same glasses since like year 10 in high school. And yeah, I'm definitely getting more blind. I need to get a new pair, but I haven't gotten around to it. But yeah, they're kind of old. But I still use them. I need my glasses for like when I'm watching a movie or when I'm in a lecture. Things. Another seat for another soy latte. And I have a gum wrapper. These are not supposed to be in my bag. They're supposed to be in my car, but they are antibacterial wipes. Um, I just saw this in the supermarket on sale and I wanted them because they're handy to like wipe down your car and your steering wheel. And sometimes you spill coffee and you spill stuff. So these are handy. I have another thing of tissues and another receipt for another coffee. <laughs> Another thing I like to keep in my bag, take away coffee cup, like keeps your coffee or your drink cold or hot. So I've had iced coffee in it and it stayed cold with the ice box still intact. I had hot coffee stay hot all day. I bought this just at Starbucks. Thor and I fell in love because I thought it was so cute. Pink lid. So I saw it, I was like, it's so me. So last thing, my wallet. Yay! I talked about this in my 2015 favorites. It's my Mimco pouch, Priceline card. This is the best thing ever. I have my Gloria Jeans VIP card, which gets you points every time you have a coffee and then you get like a free coffee. Club. I don't know how to say this store, but I really, really like this store. They have such good clothes, but Dectuba. I've been told how to say it and I never say it right, but I say Dectuba, Daytuba. I don't know. <laughs> have my Mimco VIP card. Witchery card. Love witchery. Ah, I drop stuff. My... Yochi card, damp card for a like health food juice smoothie place. Another stamp card for Tutti Fruity frozen yogurt. And then I have another stamp card, another frozen yogurt place called Coolie Yo. I have a stamp card for a Subway. I have my license. I'm not gonna show. I have a receipt for Lovisa. I have a coupon for Target, which I totally will be spending. Better believe it. I have so much crap in here. It's not even funny. I have a receipt for Kmart, an e.l.f. primer. I have a receipt from Country Road, and I'm not going to say how much I spent, but I'm going to be doing a winter fashion haul, so stay tuned for that. I have a Coles Group and Maya gift card. It was from my grandparents. Another one, which I stole off my mum. A David Jones gift card, which was from my besties for my birthday, which I've spent some of it on, and I still have more to spend. I have a boost juice card and that's it everything just fell out of my wallet onto the floor um and then i have a parking fine my first one actually so that's pretty much it for what's in my school bag if i could give any tips to anyone who's wondering what to bring what not to bring or just any tips for starting university probably be to have fun that's like the main thing when you're in college or university have fun enjoy what you're studying make sure that you're picking something that you actually enjoy and if you are 18 take a gap year or half a year take it off then you know what you want to for sure do with your life i did not take a gap year i went straight from high school to to university and it was a big mistake because I ended up wasting time and money on a degree that I didn't want to do. I did have fun studying and I learned a lot from it. I studied something that I never really was that interested in but I 
kind of light so I thought oh I can do that. If I had taken a gap year I would have kind of realized that I want to be a teacher. Another tip that I would give is to be yourself. Don't try and be anyone or anything else. Be yourself. It's such a lame thing to say I know but it's true. Be yourself and have fun. University is about having fun and learning and enjoying what you're learning but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something and kind of have an idea of what I bring to university on a daily basis. If you have any questions please leave it below. Please subscribe. I would really really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!